Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. A targeted attack and not a random shooting. Jacksonville police reveal new details after a 16-year-old student was shot outside a spring football game at Terry Parker High School. Good afternoon. The shooting took place just four minutes. Just four minutes left in that game between Rebalt and Terry Parker. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office held a news conference a few hours ago, which we carried live on newsforjax.com. The teen shot, we now know, attends and attends Reigns High School and is expected to be okay. GSO also said that Duval County Public Schools police have six officers that they had working security last night. We're covering the story from a number of angles. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Jones is live now from the school. Brittany, JSO is saying that this may have been gang related. Yes, Janice, JSO says this did not appear to be a random act. And in fact, they say he may have been targeted when he was shot behind this building right in that parking lot. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is now working to find out who is responsible for shooting a 16 year old high school student. It happened during a spring football game between Terry Parker and Rebalt Friday night. A stadium packed with about 1500 people inside, but on the other side. The victim was walking in the parking lot when he was approached by several black males. Shortly after being approached, witnesses heard one gunshot and saw the victim run toward the ticket booth area where he collapsed. JSO says witnesses helped get the teen to first responders, then he was transported to the hospital. JSO says the teen is a Reigns High School student. It's still unclear who shot him, but officers say it's possibly gang related. And the possibility of gang involvement does exist. We are currently looking to talk to persons of interest in this case. Neighbors are concerned and hoping police catch the shooters. I'm sorry for the kid that got shot and I'm not sorry for the ones that got away. And I just hope that the police stay on top of this crime. Now, we reached out to the family of the teen, and they say they do not wish to speak at this time. JSO right now saying that they do have several strong suspects. So if you have any information about this crime, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers or JSO. Reporting live from Terry Parker, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, The Local Station.